Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I have another episode of The Naked Gun. This is a video series where I choose a weapon, I use absolutely no attachments, hence the Naked Gun title, and then I let you guys know why I liked it or why I disliked it with its barebone essentials. And for today, I'm going to be trying out the AS Val, and the main reason why I selected this weapon wasn't because I had a particular interest in it, it was more I just had no kills to begin with, since the game was released, I think I only got five with them total, and I wanted to give it a shot because I thought it would be perfect for the Naked Gun series since I didn't have any attachments to begin with. And so uh, I tried it out, and admittedly, I thought that this was one of the more painful Naked Gun episodes that I've had to make. There were a lot of times where I rage quit. Uh, I mean, it happened on numerous occasions, and I don't rage that often. If you guys seen my live gameplay, I'm a pretty chill individual, and it takes a lot to get me frustrated, and uh, this definitely did it. Uh, so the AS Val probably has the most consistent damage model in Battlefield 3. It does 20 damage up close or 18.4 at long range. And so it's either going to take you 5 to 6 bullets to take out a target no matter what. And that is something I really appreciated about this weapon. You knew when the target was going to die. And that's something I like about a gun. I like to know when I can switch to the next target. And that's definitely something that this weapon excels at. And also something that's nice is that it has a very fast rounds per minute. It has an RPM of 900 so in close encounter engagements you will rip through a target even though if you're going against someone who's using an assault rifle who is doing a little bit more damage than you the higher RPM will put you on top in a lot of those close encounter engagements so I do like that about it but what was making me so frustrated and what was causing me to rage quit so much was it's a combination between the iron sights and its magazine size. If you've ever used the AS Val, you'll know that it only has 20 rounds in its magazine, or 21 if you have a bolt in the chamber, without the extended mags. As for its iron sights, I would not say that they are the worst in the game by any means because I really enjoyed using them in close encounter engagements, but when you move to medium to long range targets, I found that it was very difficult to track my enemy, and there were a lot of times where I would go through my entire magazine trying to kill a target or multiple targets and I would just get a bunch of hit markers and they would be you know just fine I would have to switch over to my pistol to finish them off and when I'm using a primary weapon I expect to get the kill after I've gone through my entire magazine and there were numerous occasions where that was not the case and I would have to switch to that my pistol to finish to finish them off and that is something that infuriates me uh, with a game or when I am using a weapon so that was probably my main cause of my frustration and because of its fast rounds per minute, uh, you're going to go through that magazine extremely fast. So I, was, I just always felt like I was out of ammunition and I was never able to get the kill for those medium to long range shots. It could have just been me, but I always felt like if I just had some sort of scope on my weapon, I would have been much successful at those engagements. And that was exactly the case because when I started to use the Cobra Sight or any other scope, I was able to track my targets and take them out effectively. And it was a lot more enjoyable so while the iron sights up close are not that bad I just felt like for medium to long range they just were not adequate for taking out those targets uh, one thing I found to be really fun and interesting about this weapon was its reload time and you're probably asking yourself how is the reload time fun well it, it takes 1.6 seconds to reload if you have a bolt in the chamber which is blazing fast for any weapon in Battlefield 3 but if you don't and you've gone through all of your magazine which is very likely with this weapon with its high RPM, it's going to take you 2.7 seconds. So I found myself always engaging in a little mini game where I would always try to reload before I ran out of my, my entire magazine. And that's true for pretty much any weapon. You don't want to go through your entire magazine because it does extend your, uh, your reload time. But I felt like it was more so with this weapon because it's so fast if you don't. And I, like I said, it kind of became this mini game. 
Uh, if I was going to improve upon this setup with some attachments, I would recommend using the Cobra Sight. This weapon excels at uh, close to medium range engagements, and the Cobra Sight is perfect for that. I would also use extended mags. You're going to want to use it. The reload time is fast if you're able to manage it, but it's difficult when you only have 20 rounds in your magazine, and to extend that a little bit more and to give yourself a larger buffer and even more killing capacity, I, I just think it's pretty much a necessity for this gun. Uh, but overall, I would say that the Naked AS Val has its Bowmans, but for the most part, it is a pretty frustrating setup. So if you are going to use this weapon, I would use the appropriate attachments, and then when you do that, it becomes a much more viable and enjoyable experience. Uh, but that's it for today's Naked Gun, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, or you just want to support my channel, I always appreciate it when you give my videos a rating, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, have a good one, and take it easy.